letter of every word spells out ESPN, a new concept. First half, Jeff Webster burns Richard Scott for two. Webster had 30. Billy Tubbs still not satisfied. Sean Pearson hurt his hand in the first half, ices it down. Calvin Rayford on the run. The miss, Steve Woodbury there for the follow. Woodbury at 26. Now, Pearson's hand would be on ice all night. Second half, shoots the three. How about the friendly fieldhouse bounce? Roy Williams sensing a victory. Kansas starts to break away. Jacques Vaughn, Richard Scott, great pass to Greg Ostertag for the jam. Kansas goes on for the win. One key for this Kansas streak during the 12 game winning streak. They've out rebounded every one of their opponents. Steve Woodbury's 26 tied his career high. Jeff Webster at 30 in the league. Colson was on his way to run things at Fresno State, of course. Look at Marlo White fly in out of nowhere for the follow jam right there. But this game belonged to redshirt senior Carl Ray Harris. Harris, a guy who has the ability to hit the leaner. A guy who can hit from way out downtown. And Harris, also a guy that can do the old stop and go, can take it to the hoop and score. Career high 25 for him. Might be one of the best players you've never heard of. Bulldogs win it 69-65. Fresno State led by as many as 16. New Mexico cut it to three with less than two minutes to go. That was as close. Yeah, James Winter's shoes were on tight. Puts back the miss. He had 14 points. The general shoes seemed tight as well. He watches Iowa's Jess Settles. The reaching reverse, Iowa by one in the second. The Hoosiers come back. Brian Evans, the bump shoulder, launches the three, counted. He had 21. Big Todd Lindemann. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? With authority, IU by four. They pulled away. Pat Graham spots up, open. Never easy on the road in the Big Ten, but the Hoosiers escape. Damon scores 20. The Hoosiers beat Iowa for the fifth straight time. The Hawkeyes missed their last 11 shots from the field. Despite a separated shoulder, Brian Evans scores a career-high 21. LSU and Arkansas. Nolan Richardson's team trailing by nine at the half, but in the second half, they storm back. Alex Dillard, three, off glass. Nothing but backboard and net. Arkansas up three. LSU freshman Ronnie Henderson also from three. And we're tied at 68. Just over a minute to go, LSU by two. 270-pound Dwight Stewart, the soft touch. Arkansas ties it up. After a free throw, Arkansas up one. LSU going for the win. Andre Owens, no. Here comes Jamie Brandon. Jamie, Jamie for the win. Jamie, Jamie's crying. Arkansas holds on, 84-83. Dale Brown upset with a no call with under a minute to play when Clint McDaniel stripped Andre Owens at midcourt. Brown said, quote, it was so sad to end such a good game with such a terrible call. Wayne Simpkins to X-ray hip. Wonder if he's related to I am hip. He had 23. Chuck Graham, steal, jam. But 16 first half turnovers cost the Seminoles. Main man for Maryland, 6'9", freshman Joe Smith. Turn around and the foul. 23 points for Smith. Pat Kennedy wishes for Charlie Ward. Smith was 7 for 11 from the floor, grabbed 20 boards and had 6 blocks. The Seminoles fall to 0-3. In Canyon and Temple watches his son Matt play for the Quakers. Matt with the steal. He had 13. As Penn plays Temple close in the first half. Eddie Jones with a steal of his own. Let's change Eddie Jones' name to Edgar Jones. Extension slam. John Cheney still worried as the Owls led by only two at the half. Don't worry, Rick Brunson. Dumps it back. Jason Ivey. Penn still hasn't beaten a ranked team in over 12 years. 76-65 the final. Brunson was six for seven from the floor with no turnovers. Penn's Jim Maloney struggled. Gene Cady. Hey, Dan Patrick told him to smile a few nights ago, and look, he smiled. Glenn Robinson is a reason to smile. He had 16 at the half. Sean Respert does his best to keep the Spartans close. The three, it's a four-point game. He had 21 to lead state. He was three of six from downtown, but Matt Waddell puts the game away. Three, three-pointers, he finished with 20 to compliment Robinson, who absolutely goes sky high for the alley-oop. He had 25, the Spartans fall to 10 and five. Mich uh, Michigan State, Purdue now 14 and 0. Spartans were down eight at the half. The worst thing that could happen to them, they have lost every single game they have trailed at 25th ranked Missouri Tigers of Norm Stewart. Notre Dame out early. Monty Williams from Ryan Hoover, and he's fouled. Williams scored the first eight of the game. Missouri keeps it close. Booker steals it, takes it all the way in, gets hit, and he scores. It's a two-point game at the break. Ryan Hoover, though, and the ball, the three, and it is G-double-O-D. Hoover again. He led the team with five assists 
and 25 points. He was 10 of 10 from the line. Whew. Cloud gets the win by four. Norm Stewart asked in frustration after the game, how many guys did we have guarding Hoover? Six? I mean, attempt to guard him. Notre Dame forward Carl Cozen said this means... Dunk the ball, Kentucky up big early. Then McCarty to Jared Prickett. Back to McCarty. Shooters touch as it goes down. McCarty game high 24. Second half, all Kentucky. Roderick Rhodes behind the back. Prickett hang, miss, follow. He had 18. Wildcats roll. McCarty replacing Roderick Rhodes in the lineup. The starting lineup was 8 for 10 from the floor for 24. Rhodes lost his starting role because of poor rebounding. He grabbed a team high 8. In Townsend Orr splits the D. Minnesota would lead by 9 at the half, second half. Watch Wisconsin's Tracy Webster. Is he going to pass the ball or flick it off glass? Badgers down 8. Then the skies opened up. Vashon Leonard for 3. Gophers haven't seen shooting like this since, I don't know, Dennis Schaefer, maybe way back to Lou Hudson. Vashon finished with 23. The Gophers spank. I got to go with that. They spank Wisconsin. Wisconsin suffers its first loss of the season. Badger coach Stu Jackson said, I think I should have chosen this game to boycott. Gopher coach Clem Haskins said, no matter who we played tonight, we would have won. Aaron McDonald, the team record, 16 assists. Up and lace him up tight. James Forrest, you know, it's the ACC. First half, Forrest the miss. Martise Moore, follow slam, tech by six early. Later in the half, Travis Best inside the forest, tech by just three at the half. Carolina pounds it inside. Watch the freshman, Rasheed Wallace, quickly. Oh, mercy. Carolina within four. Georgia Tech goes outside. Fred Vinson, three ball. Drew Berry, three ball. Vinny, three vision. Georgia Tech by 10. Finally, James Forrest, 22 points. The hoop and the foul. And then James shows off the guns. Yeah, he's been watching body shaping with Kiana. But haven't we all? The Tar Heels' Donald Williams, 0 for 8 from the field with just one assist in 25 minutes. Travis Best led the Yellow Jackets with...